Hi, it's Roger here from A&E Leisure. I got quite a lot of feedback from my last CADAC video, so I thought I would bring some more CADAC to you. Um, and today, we're gonna look at the range of CADACs that you're likely to take with you in a camper van, a caravan, or a motorhome. We're gonna spend a little bit of time going through the different models, then I'm gonna show you how you can attach them to your fuel source, LPG, and how you can make them portable if you wanna take them away from your leisure vehicle down to the beach or a picnic or something like that, and also if you wanna use your Cadac at home. So, firstly, let's start with the Safari Chef. This is the smallest model in the range, and I'll show you a few of the variations. So let's get that set up. This is the Safari Chef from Cadac. It's the smallest product in the range, probably the most versatile and comes with various different options for fueling and for use. So let's go through some of those options now. So starting at the bottom you'll get the light which comes with this cooking surface, the barbecue grid. Up from there you get what's called the LP or the HP um, and they're the two different fuel sources. LP is low pressure, HP is high pressure. The high pressure, you'll need to run it on the uh, gas bottle, the little dumpy 500 gram, which I'll show you now. Whoa, I've got some new special effects. Uh, that'll be Josh, who's doing our videos. Thanks, Josh. So, with the HP version, this screws to the underside of the Cadac underneath. Um, there is an adapter, which means you can take it from an HP to a low pressure, um, but it's quite rare that people do that. Once they use it with the HP uh, bottle, which screws onto the bottom, makes it nice and portable, great for camping. The low pressure version is probably the more popular, um, and I see those being sold to caravanners, motorhomes, particularly camper vans. Normally, this will be a couple of people that will be using this product. So we started off with the light, then we went up to the LP or HP. Um, then they do what's called a Pro, which means you get the lid. And the lid here, um, when you turn the lid that comes with all of the models upside down to use as a cooking pan, you can use the lid on top. That lid also goes on the paella pan, which is available as an extra or an option. Okay, so they're your different models um, and uh, do come at different price points. You've got your two fuels, LP and HP. There is one other new product that has entered this range, um, and that one is called the Compact. Ooh, this one is called the Compact. So instead of it having an HP uh, canister on the underside of the barbecue, the, H, uh, the, the canister is one of this type. Thanks, Josh and this canister goes inside the Cadac. Still the same accessories. We've got the fat pan, the barbecue grid, uh, which is reversible, I didn't mention that earlier. Um, it's the same on all of the Safari Chefs. And then you've got your pot stroke dome at the top there. As per my previous videos, do not forget to put water in the fat pan. We all know the reasons for this now. Hopefully you've checked out my other video. Um, there is a link to that video in the comments section below this video. But basically, put the water in the fat pan there. The fat drips through the holes into the water. When you get to the uh, end of your holiday, end of your stay, tip out the fat pan, uh, much easier to clean. Also, put the lid on, turn the heat down. Uh, if you're cooking chicken, pork, anything like that, really does help cook the food. Uh, and makes it taste much, much better. Okay, so we've got the next size up. This one is called the Grillo Chef, and we've moved from a 30 centimeter cooking surface to a 40 centimeter cooking surface. So generally, I will sell this to couples, families, up to four people cooking off this surface. Um, just to give you a bit of a comparison, that's your 40 centimeter cooking surface. That is your 30 centimeter cooking surface. So just overlay one against the other. You can see the size difference between those. I'd still recommend using the tapas sets on both of these cooking surfaces. Um, certainly if you want to do an egg or you want to do beans or mushrooms or anything like that, really do work well. One of the best bits about the Grillo Chef is the, if you go for the chef pan, you really do get a deep dish chef pan, 
which has always been my sort of criticism of the Carry Chef 50, which is the next one I'm going to show you. Um, this Chef Pan is exactly the same as the 40 centimeter Paella Pan. Uh, laser cut on the back, um, non-stick surface. Um, the only difference between this and the Paella Pan, if you can just see there, the handles. The Paella Pan has got um, a nice handle. Um, in fact, I'll go grab you one, you can have a look at it. Okay, so that is the Paella Pan there. So it's got a couple of nice handles on it. Chef Pan, my little ears really, they're not, not that big, so you'll have to be careful that you might need a tea towel or some oven gloves to, uh, to lift that around should you want to. Um, so difference between the paella pan and the chef pan on the on the 40. This one is a 30, but it has got the same same handles. So Grillo Chef generally cheaper than the Carry Chef range. Carry Chef perceived as um, a more premium product, a little bit more solid, uh, but certainly for the size of the cooking surface, um, still the same Kadak quality. Um, great piece of kit. But I'm going to show you what's come out this year, which is the Carry Chef 40. So I'm going to move across to that now. Okay, we've got the Carry Chef 40 here in front of me. Now this is new out this year. It's the latest product that um, Kadak have brought out, um, and it really has fixed a few things that um, Kadak um, have had sort of along the way and innovated. So we've got um, uh, the leg leveler that came out, little product that goes onto the bottom of the um, of the barbecues, um, looks like this. Now this has got a little screwdriver, peg, kind of screws uh, to the bottom of the Carry Chef on the Grillo uh, leg itself. A um, little bit faffy, I mean it does a great job, but um, it is a bit fiddly, and if you drop the screw or you drop the nut from the uh, from the product uh, in grass, you are not going to find it. Um, but on the Carry Chef 40, um, they've actually um, made a, uh, a leg leveler which is attached and is part of the product. Uh, the other thing that they've done, they've upgraded the igniter system. Um, they've uh, hidden the igniter and the um, the burner a little bit further inside of the product to help it against wind. Um, we've got a nice new lid, which I'll just show you there. It's a nice textured effect, which I believe the Carry Chef 50 is going to go to as well uh, once they uh, the run uh, through the um, the current product. And, and, and the other thing that I really like about this product is you have got this cooking surface here that runs all the way to the edges. So uh, there's no lip, it's flat to the edges. There's no lip. Um, the older Grillo Chef, the, the 40 here, you can just see there's a lip there. Just takes a little bit of that cooking surface away. Um, whereas this one, yeah, it's much nicer. It's, um, it's got the non-stick coating on there, uh, which is, um, I don't know if they've changed. They say they've not changed the way they're doing this non-stick coating, but I've got to say um, this new one is is better than my Carry Chef that I've got at home. Um, it, it really it feels better. It looks better. Uh, this enamel coating um, does seem to be really well applied, uh, and I'm sure that's going to be um, uh, a benefit when it's being used out in the in the. One other great point about the. Uh, Carry Chef 40 um, is that um, it comes with a leg bag as well included. They're like 10 quid. So uh, retail price on these um, currently 2024 is uh, is 250 pounds. Um, uh, but you are getting the leg bag, the leveler, um, the upgraded uh, igniter, the, the, the better burner, etc. And it is definitely more solid than the older Grillo Chef. So premium product in a good size so you know family size the 40 i would say um if you if you're looking at cooking for more than four six people uh, then maybe the the kadak uh carry chef 50 which we're going to move on to next 
Okay, so here we've got the Carry Chef 50. This is the largest Kadak um, in the portable camping range. Uh, they do do much bigger products like the Meridian, uh, which is also available at A&E Leisure. Um, uh, we have to send those out on pallets. Um, they're great for the home and garden. Um, come in a four burner and a three burner, just to plug those a little bit. And again, I'll put the link in the bottom of the comments so you can have a look at that and, uh, and see if you, uh, you like the look of uh, that. Take one of the Kadaks away with you and then have another one at home. Uh, this is the largest and uh, it's, it's the premium uh, uh, part of their range. Um, we've got three pretty solid legs which hold the Kadak uh, in place. Uh, we do the, the leg leveler as well for this product, um, which fastens down to one of the legs uh, to um, level that up. We do the full grill at uh, the barbecue grid, and we also do the half. This one's called a plancher, um, uh, so it's half and half. Um, we do a full chef pan, which is that side, which I'll just grab now. So this is a chef pan. I've got to say, it's quite a large unit. Um, the lip on it is not massive. Um, I do think that this is a little bit of a um, little bit of a restriction when you're doing sort of sloppy dishes. Um, I would definitely go for the paella pan. It's certainly my top tip. Um, don't necessarily go for the chef pan uh, if you're buying it as the kit. Just go for the standard barbecue. Um, and then spend the money on the paella pan. You'll get more use out of the paella pan and always get the tapas set. The Kadak is the central part of our kind of camping experience, really. Um, that and uh, I always go away with a friend um, called Dave and he's got a pizza oven uh, made by a different manufacturer, I've got to say. And um, one night we have pizzas or we have the Kadak. <laughs>